video, I will be showing you how to use custom graphics in Super Mario Bros. X version 1.4.5. I've seen many videos on YouTube about this, but those tutorials are very old and are using the legacy version 1.3. So here is an updated tutorial. Before I get started, there is something that you need to know. Looking in the graphics folder, you can see all the types of graphics that Super Mario Bros. X has by default. Blocks, backgrounds, background objects, effects, NPCs, etc. When you open any of these folders, you can see that all of these graphics are named a very certain way. The type of graphic, a dash, and then the number ID of the specific graphic. This is a very important thing to know when applying custom graphics to your level. Also, background refers to the background objects. Background 2 refers to the background of the level. So let's just say that you want to use this block in your level. Take a look at the name of the file. This determines which default graphic you are replacing. In this case, you are replacing this block, which has the exact same file name as the block you will be using. If you want to replace a different graphic, name the file to exactly which graphic you want to replace. Keep in mind that you can't use both graphics of the same file name in a level or world map unless you use GFX expansions, which I'll talk about in another video. So, to apply any graphic in your level, you need to copy the graphic and then paste it in the folder where the level is located. Do not just place the graphics wherever you want. So, once you save and test your level, you can see that the graphics have changed. To customize the block, right click on the box and here you can adjust how many frames the block contains, how fast the frames move, and some other settings that I will not get into. Using custom graphics of NPCs is the same concept but with a couple of differences. One thing you need to know is that there are effects that belong with some NPCs. If you are using an NPC that belongs to an effect, you need to copy both the NPC graphic and the effect graphics that belong with the NPC. Let's use a Goomba for this example. The number ID for this NPC is 1. I will be using this graphic for NPC 1, but you also need to find the effects that belong to this NPC. Effects 2 and 4 belong to NPC 1. So you need to copy effects 2 and 4, as well as NPC 1, and then paste them into your level. Let's test out the level and see how this works. Looks fine so far. But as you can see, the Goomba seems to be moving backwards if the setting is right. To fix this, in this case, you need to adjust the frame style of the NPC to 1. And there you go, all fixed. Now, if you downloaded custom graphics from the internet and you see a TXD file next to an NPC graphic, I strongly recommend copying both of the graphics and the TXD file to your level. That way, the NPC will look and behave correctly. Super Mario Bros. X 38A is able to convert GIF files for any graphic into a PNG file. The GIF files are used for graphics for versions 1.3 and below. To convert them, you must copy both the graphic and the masked image of the graphic in your level. Then once you've saved your level, the program will automatically convert the GIF file into a PNG file. So that is all you need to know about applying custom graphics into your level. I hope this helps and I'll be back soon.